Well, last week we brought you a troubling story from NPR. The radio station's economic news show Planet Money was pummeled with negative headlines for alleged conflict of interest. For a while, the show had only one sponsor, Ali Financial, a major bank that received money in the bailout. But the show wasn't the only part of Planet Money taking in big bank dollars. Planet Money's co-creator and co-host Adam Davidson made money as a speaker at Goldman Sachs, and Goldman Sachs and Bank of America events. Here is Mark Ames from the project, The Shame Project, explaining the problem with Planet Money's ethics in an interview with RT last week. The real problem is when you're taking money from these people covertly and then, you know, and then promoting their agenda on NPR, you're essentially um, a product spokesman. But it doesn't end there. There's a new report by Yuki Noguchi about Bank of America giving away 2,500 vacant homes to people in need. Here's a clip from that report. The giveaways may not change the broader public's view of banks, but they have for Leroy Cisco. Uh, I'm the wrong guy for anybody to say anything bad about these institutions. I love them. All sounds great. There's just one problem. Noguchi neglected to put this story into context. The blog Fire Dog Lake points out that banks often give away vacant homes as a way to get some of the free positive press. Noguchi is happy to dole out. But even more damning, Bank of America is obligated to give away vacant homes as part of the robo signing settlement to pay penalties to the government for fraud in the foreclosure process. Bank of America, along with Ally Financial and other major banks, are actually doing what they already do. So the reality is, this isn't charity. And we've seen Noguchi before. Last month, we looked at mainstream media outlets using sources without correctly attributing them. Throughout his various appearances, Joe Olivo was called a small business owner. But what they didn't tell you was that this man also happens to be a part of the National Federation of Independent Businesses. It's a right-wing pro-corporate lobbying group. There were also a plaintiff in the Supreme Court challenge to Obamacare. But in all these reports, no mention of his lobbying ties. Noguchi is one of the reporters that used Joe Olivo as a source without saying which lobbying firm he works for. Is this conflict of interest in the same vein we saw with Davidson? Could just be lazy, report, lazy reporting. Either way, the audience deserves better.